Alrighty guys, just on start here real quick. Quick little update video on what the heck happened over the past week or so and why I haven't been able to stream that much. First of all, obviously is, you know, unlucky scheduling on my works front because I've been just getting a lot of early ships and all that stuff. Second of all is a Steam account got temporarily jacked after I after I mean there's no way around this. I was gullible enough to fall for a Discord scam because somebody randomly that I've never talked to before randomly showed up in my Discord DMs and s started going off about falsely falsely reporting my account because somebody was using my Steam name to scam people or something and told me to message some other dude on the, and there were just so many red flags first of all my Steam account doesn't have a phone number attached to it Second of all, nobody uses freaking Discord for fucking customer service, and you just, you know, the fucking, then, then I just, I walked right into it, and I honestly, that's a fucking hell. Yeah, I, I was, I was just gullible enough to fall for it all, and I, and I didn't start getting suspicious until they wanted me to buy Team Fortress 2 keys in order to prove that I own the account. And that's when I started getting suspicious, but it was already too late because they already changed the password because they told me to give them the email with the fucking code to change the password in it, and I did, and that was so dumb I shouldn't have done that in. That's pretty much what caused me to almost have a heart attack the past few days, so that was fun. <laughs> yeah, pretty much if you guys if you guys are talking to people on Discord and they tell you to contact some guy called Brent Scott or whatever, don't do it. Cause that was the Discord account that I almost lost my Steam account to. So if you guys see that guy's name flying around, don't trust it and report the person for fucking being a part of a scam and apparently it's been going on for a while because I looked it up after I got my account back just because I was curious and there's been a lot of people who fell for it apparently in the past so mm-hmm I was lucky enough that I caught on before hand though because as soon as they, I guess as soon as they realized that I was starting to catch on, they gave up. Alright, I temporarily locked my bank account because I know, well I didn't lock the bank account, I moved all of the money into my checking account into my savings account because I knew that my checking account was connected to my Steam account obviously because of my Daybreak All Access account mainly so it could just go through without any problems. And as soon as they realized that had happened, they just kind of gave up, I guess. So I was lucky enough to get it back. Steam support was very quick, very easy, very convenient. And everything was... Everything was... Everything, everything was back to normal. And... For someone who's paranoid about online security, I definitely walk into those games way too often than I'd like to admit. But this is the first time where anything has actually come of it. You know, where I actually, you know, partook in it. Most of the other times, it's just I take one look of it and go like, yeah, whatever, and block the person. But this time, I, act, I guess I just let my guard down and one thing led to another, man. Of course, by the time I got it back, I had another three early shifts in a row, so I couldn't do any pre-recorded stuff or any streaming because, well, I needed to sleep. So that's pretty much what happened. And it was just being my gullible self, I guess, so... 
Yeah, in other news, while I have you guys here and I have your guys' attention, I do want to mention the Long War 1 playthrough has started. I will try to get the first stream of that edited out so I can start uploading that. I don't want to fall too far behind like I did with the current XCOM 2 run. But, I mean, it always happens whenever I do something XCOM-related. Enemy within XCOM 2 or Chimera Squad. I start playing it, I have fun playing it, I want to keep playing it, and before you know it, I'm like... 10 streams behind and I've already completed the playthrough and now I'm just waiting for it to all be uploaded. <laughs> so yeah, that always, that always happens when I play XCOM, though. You know, because I have a lot of fun with XCOM. And you know, may have noticed that on the YouTube channel that uh, things have been a little bit XCOM heavy as well because I want to get it uploaded so I can start the next XCOM 2 run. But I don't want to start the next XCOM 2 run when I haven't even finished uploading the last one. Because that would just make the whole backlog situation worse. Yeah, that's pretty much the update there. Once I start uploading the Long War playthrough, I'll probably alternate between XCOM 2 and Long War. Will it be random game, random game, XCOM 2, random game, random game, Long War, or something like that. Things are going to be a little bit XCOM heavy in the next couple of weeks, let's just say. Which I'm sure most of you guys don't mind because most of my views come from XCOM anyway, but... Just to let you guys know there, just a little bit heads up, things are going to be XCOM heavy the next few days, few days, few weeks. And considering that it's long war, it's probably going to last a lot longer than the current XCOM 2 backlog. So yeah, just a quick update for you guys, nothing crazy, nobody died, although I almost had a heart attack, but thank y'all for watching, and I'm out.